So today we're going to go ahead and take a look at activity 1.2, Amazing Algorithms. Now an algorithm is an ordered set of instructions that are used to carry out a specific task. An example of this may be something like brushing our teeth, where we have a step-by-step -step process that we use in order to carry out that task and achieve our desired outcome. Now an algorithm can be used as what we call a sequential algorithm, which is just an ordered number of steps, such as step one, do this, step two, do that, and so on and so forth. The second type of algorithm is known as a flowchart. A flowchart, just like an algorithm, gives us an ordered number of steps, but it's in a more visual representation of how that task should be carried out. Here we use different shapes to show us the flow of the way that that algorithm should be carried out. Now for today's activity, we're gonna be using our bus map. And on this bus map, our goal is to take our bus from the school and get it to navigate all the way to the museum. Now you'll notice there are three different paths that your bus can take. And today we're gonna look at one of those routes that we're gonna follow in order to get to that museum. Now, a couple of things you have to remember is that every time we give a command or a navigational movement, our bus is only gonna move one square on that grid. So the navigation movements that we're gonna be using here is going to be move forward, turn left, or turn right. So those are the only three commands that we can use. Now, something else to keep in mind is that when we use the term move forward, the bus will only move forward one space. If we say turn left, the bus will turn left, but it will remain in its place. So it will not move forward and turn left. It will just spin 90 degrees counterclockwise. If we say turn right, then we're going to basically turn our bus 90 degrees clockwise and it will remain in its place. Now, in order to get our bus to get from the school to the museum, we're going to go ahead and follow the route that's listed on the screen. Now, in order to do that, we can see right away that we need that bus to move forward four spaces to get to the end. So in order to do this, we would need to tell our bus to move forward, move forward, move forward, and move forward again. That will place our bus at the end of the road. At this point, the only thing that our bus can do is turn left. So once your bus turns left, we will then be able to move forward two additional spaces. After we move forward two additional spaces, the next thing we need to do is to get our bus to move right or turn right. Once we turn right, we could then move forward two more spaces. Our bus will then need to turn left and then we will need to move forward four more spaces. Once we get to the end of the road, we're gonna turn left again and move forward one space. From here, we will turn right, and then we will go ahead and move forward three additional spaces. At this point, we have one more turn, so we'll turn left, and then we're gonna go ahead and move forward four more spaces to reach the museum. Now, as you can see, this took us quite a bit of steps in order to get there, but it is basically needed in order to give those step-by-step -step instructions to get our school bus from the school to the museum.